Welcome to another Thinkorswim setup video. In this video, I'm going to share with you a couple scripts that I wrote to display the uh, week to date, month to date, and the year to date percentage change on a watch list and also on a chart. I will show you how to customize your watch list with these scripts and also how to install them on your platform. So stay tuned. The first thing we'll do is go to the description for this video and copy the link for the script. Then we'll come back to Thinkorswim and install them one at a time. So let's go and get the link. The first link we'll get is for the year to date percentage change. Now that we have copied that year to date percentage change link, let's come back here to the main window on Thinkorswim and click on this setup and then select the open share item and it will open this window. And in here, share item URL, we just do a control V and that will paste the link that we copy into this box and click preview and you should see SM underscore year to date percentage change. Okay, so that's the script that we're going to install and then to import that just click import then it will go and import into our uh, Thinkorswim platform. So I'm going to do that now. And it say it has successfully imported. So we're going to do the same for the remaining script, the week to date, the month to date, and also the script for the chart. It's the same process. Here we're going to add the month to date. And now the week to date. And finally, the uh, script to add all these uh, percentage change onto our chart. And this one is called SM underscore change percentage. Now here on the item, it's a import item as a name here. We, for some reason, it could not uh, copy that percentage sign there. So we will see, does it actually do that or not? See, it doesn't take that character. So we have to just leave it as underscore. Now that we got all the script installed on our platform, next we will go and create a watch list and I will walk you through on how to customize that watch list by adding those uh, percentage change script onto that watch list. Now let's go and create a new watch list gadget and then we will install or uh, customize that watch list with these new script on them so we can monitor the uh, percentage change. So open up this column here or this window pane here if you haven't got that open on your main uh, window just by clicking this little uh, left arrow here and that will open up this pane. So instead of using an existing uh, watch list uh, gadget, I'm going to create a new one and just click on this plus sign and come down and select watch list. So now that I got this watch list here, I'm going to detach it. And here, let me pin this on there and uh, close this up so it doesn't kind of clutter everything. So we could just kind of focus on this here. Now I'm going to use, uh, let's put up a uh, Dow Jones Industrial, the 30 Industrial uh, Stock here for this list. Okay, so let me just expand this up. So you see, we have the bit and ask, net change, and the last. So, what we want to do is we want to add a few columns here with the uh, week to date, month to date, and year to date percentage change. To do that, 
is we click on this little gear icon here right under or next to the uh, ask or the uh, last column here whatever you might have okay but for this uh, exercise we have that as and just click on that and here pop up a little uh, menu and we just select customize so to customize it come up with this window and there's a lot of uh, you know script or indicator that we could put on so we're going to search for that smytd remember we uh, imported that uh, uh, script here so now we're going to add this on there and just click add item so now we have added that uh, uh, script on the watch list so let's uh, go and click ok and you can see that we have added that let's uh, open up the window a little bit and we kind of have to uh, make a little adjustment on these uh, window size i mean these column size and then we can see the that's the sm year to date percentage and now we're going to add the remainder in there let's go and add the month today again we know that is mtd right so we have this on there and also let's go and do the week to date now you don't have to add all of them if you don't uh, want to you can just add whichever you want you like but in this exercise i'm going to just go to and add all three of them okay so uh here we go let me uh, increase this and then adjust the column also the other thing is we could sort the uh the percentage change okay so let's say we now right now i got year to date month to date and uh, week to date and let's say you don't want to have sm underscore in front of all these we could go and change that so let's just go and change that by collect selecting this uh, little scroll right this icon right and select that and that will open up the script so the script is really simple script and then just change this name the custom name and so instead of putting the sm in front of it gonna put sm in the back of it okay so now you go and click OK and then close. Let's still do OK. See, you can see that actually it changed that. All right, let's do the uh, same for the other two and just go and click this and change this here. And we're going to do the same for the week. I mean, you could delete that also you don't have to put the uh, underscore sm behind it so it just help you it's kind of if you have more than one with the same name and uh, you could uh, use that to differentiate uh, one from the other so you can see that actually i have that under now now so we could uh, kind of scroll i mean adjust that to even hide it if you you don't want that to show or you could delete it for whatever reason uh it doesn't matter Okay, so uh, anyway, right now I don't want to spend too much time uh, you know, messing around with this thing here on just a setting column. You could do that uh, when you have time. But the key thing is now you could uh, adjust this and uh, sort it based on uh, you know uh, worst to best or best to worst. Also, in addition to that, go and uh, rearrange the uh, the order. So let's say you want to have the uh, week to date first okay just select that and then use the move up move down button here and then the uh, month to date and then year to date so now you got that order week to date month to date year to date okay so that's how you install that on the watch list now let's go do the same thing for our chart now to illustrate how to use this script on the chart let's go and uh, create a new chart window by clicking here and uh, do a detach so that way i will have a separate uh, window for the uh, chart and i'm going to do just uh, type in spx the s p 500 so here we're going to click on steady and do the edit steady and go and search that sm change okay remember we have that sm change underscore 
and that's the uh, study that we want to add. Okay, so now if we click on this uh, gear icon, you could also see the option to turn on or off each one of these. So let's say you do not want to have the month today on, you just want a week today and also the year today. You could just go click this all to know and that will not show it. So let's start off with all of them being shown and then we go back and turn them off to uh, just to kind of highlight. So you see that uh, year to date, month to date, and week to date, and the color uh, change based on is it positive or negative? If it's negative, it's in the color red, and if it's uh, positive, it's in green. Okay, now, so let's say we want to uh, just uh, display the year to date. So you could go and uh, go to steady and edit steady and click on this gear icon and we're going to turn off the month to date and the week to date click OK and there you have it so now you're just showing the year to date percentage change so that is how you get the script into your chart and also onto your watch list and uh, I have the link in the description below so just follow the uh, step to copy the link and go to the setup and open up that uh, share link item and install them on your Thinkorswim platform. So I hope you find this uh, tutorial and also the script to be uh, useful and also uh, found this uh, video to be uh, educational. And if you are new to this channel, be sure to subscribe and also smash that thumbs up to help me promote this video. Thank you for watching and good luck on your trading.